Welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time as we analyze the biggest entertainment stories and this time around, a lot of lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co-anchors with me ready to do the talking. Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshuke. What up? What's good? How, How you, are you doing? doing? Well, Bless you. I can okay. smell Friday. You can. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm excited. What difference does it well, make? Well, difference. Uh, <laughs> <just> <laughs> like. Some of us have to wake up at 4 a.m. It's um, a big, very, very big difference. Mm, Please. Thank okay. you. Mm. Essential worker. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> and this goes out to the still suffering and um, mm -mm. how did 50 say it about Jaru? To the still suffering and... Something. Mm. Yeah, the one that follows that story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the one that follows 50 cents. No, okay, I remember, but it doesn't follow. To the still suffering. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, so Ghanaian actor turned politician John Dumelo is offering 200,000 Ghana cities interest-free loan to small-scale businesses in Ayawaso West constituency in Ghana. In the post he shared via Instagram, he said, and I quote, I don't have much, but what I have is what I share. He's hoping that this token will revive many businesses and even create more job opportunities. Big shout out to Go on, go on. Since I'm happy, obviously. I'm mm -hmm. happy about that. Um, I think that you're supposed to be doing that. Well done if you can, of course. I like that he used the words, if I have, I share. Not everyone follows that medium, but I know a lot of people that really do share everything that they have, and it's amazing. And I, I strive to try and be like that. I won't share everything, Sha, but I'll share, you know, my... my what are the things you so, won't share? My man. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, so um, I'm happy that he's doing that. I'm happy that he's giving the small scale people. It's very important to look um, look out for the vulnerable and everything. Mm. But I think, especially you, I think you've said that a lot on this table about how you know a lot of businesses are suffering and things like that. I don't really know business owners, but I can just imagine that they're just as you know affected and they have the responsibility of you know um, paying salaries to a lot of people who then trigger into a lot of people. So they're actually quite important in who you help out so that the money can trickle down right. So I'm really glad that he thought about that initiative and that he put it on social media. I remember to vote to, for to, him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll vote for you, don't worry. If you, if you I have, mean, he, 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 did, he did a whole yeah. flyer to do that. I mean, we'll be telling um, politicians in Nigeria, I mean, 2023 is around the corner. Since they're already having conversations regarding 2023 and their mind is already there, why not just use this, this, opportunity. Period, this opportunity to pack those bag of rice and put your party... We don't mind. As long as there's rice that's in there. You know, just do something, mm. you know, yeah, so... Just so people know, um, because a lot of people will be like, oh, I don't have that much money to give out. Is that actually using it as a loan it's a loan to people with zero how much is two hundred thousand that's so. about um it should be Let's about check. two yeah you can check i, I don't know it should be why she's checking above. go ahead mm -hmm. so it's using this medium as a as a loan with zero percent interest so you're not paying back any interest then but you can borrow from the two hundred thousand is given out so mm -hmm. so that's the for, flyer. 13 million mm -hmm. yeah 13, 13 million. million so for people that 13 million naira mm -hmm. amazing yeah that's mm. a lot and it is a lot that, yeah so for, so it's not uh, like you really have money. to give it out outrightly but you know people need help this period they need assistance and all that and there's just so little or so much that your bank can do mm -hmm. especially for small scale businesses and people need to survive so even if it's giving out alone and you know that okay i'll get it back it's also a good way to support people in this torrid time i repeat 2023 ambitions we are watching you guys mm. we are watching if you bring that right like one week to election you just you don't know i might just you know fall into your mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay, moving on. United States federal judge has dismissed a lawsuit brought by Justice Smollett um, accusing the city of Chicago of malicious prosecution and concluding that his claim to having been the victim of a racist and homophobic beating was a hoax. Smollett filed the lawsuit in November after Chicago sued him to try to recoup a little over $130,000 in police overtime cost um, to investigate the beating claim. In a ruling published on the court's website, it says Smollett, quote, cannot bring a state malicious claim until proceedings uh -huh. against him have been terminated, end of mm -hmm. quote, referring to renewed felony charges filed in February. 
I think this is just the right way to go because that's what the law actually stipulates. And besides that, um, this guy is, I feel like he's jumping the gun. There's, there's still I wouldn't say he's jumping the gun because he filed this in yeah. November. And well, they that's filed true. Okay, the case was already so, dismissed yeah. already. But, but didn't, the lawyers, didn't the lawyers advise that <laughs> if that was, because it looked like it's a thing, like they're saying, the court is saying that the, he can it, sh, it can he can only file that if the case has been terminated. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that no, that's... It, it no, was. He, already filed he did that. in November, but this case that the judge is referring to was filed in February. Right. Yeah. So it's not valid anymore. His lawsuit, um, lawsuit is not valid anymore because the case was from... It's from Probably January. Yeah, right. yeah, so... Okay. All right, so I think that's just the way to go. But I at first, I was thinking, okay, I think it was jumping the gun. But mm. now that I, you reminded me of that, it's not about jumping the gun. But that's just what the law stipulates, and that's just the right thing to mm. do. So until this, until it beats this case as mm. well, mm -hmm. then maybe you can, you can go on. Yeah. I, 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 I don't want to say I feel for him just in case he is the guilty person, but this is such a drag. Mm -hmm. um, and I wonder... How that's like for his personal life and everyone who's uh, who's related to him personally, because you know you think it, you, you think of just Jesse, Jesse, but imagine the siblings and families and close mm -hmm. friends and how they interact with other people. You know, you're well, everyone is kind of on a, I guess on a like sitting on one ass, like, they, like around yeah, eggshells. yeah, because then you don't shows. know whether or not you are associated with someone who created mm. a, a stage hate crime or you're associated with someone who was victim of that mm. and your interaction will be based on the result of that. So I feel like everybody's on an edge yeah. right now and I, I feel for them in that regard. Yeah. All right, it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, trust me, you don't want to miss the conversation. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Let's talk parenting and disciplinary measures. A video has since gone viral um, and has sparked reactions and started conversations on social media regarding the right way to discipline an apparent erring child or young adult as peculiar to this case. Take a look at the video. You You know what's going to happen to you with stupid two or three certificates? You're supposed to have one. I told you when you come, teach anyone to listen. Mm -mm, George, stop beating them. Come this on. This is stupidity. You can't be saying stop beating know. them. You know what this means. I know it does, but why are you beating them? I told you this is a scar on your entire life. Even if you come and pass your next sitting, you have two. Do you know the reputation this stupid thing gives you? Huh? Do you know the reputation it gives you? You're a big boy, you, you can't read. You can't read. Uh -uh, George, come on, don't do that. You can't read. Yeah. So why the, why the hell do you come back with results like you can't read? Nine! Yeah, I, I was very you can't talk about Stop talking to me. Understand? Stop beating him, Nine. You understand? Yes. You can't talk to me again about your results. No! Give me George, this excuse as you swan. Do not ah, ah, to. Come on, you. To keep you guys there. You. How much money I spend photocopying, sending money for books, that tuition fees, cheat. You come with results like you, you never went to school, you lost the whole year, and then you go and sit for results. That's the result you bring in this house. In this house. Huh? You even have the audacity of refusing when I send you to do on your way. You refuse. Come on. Look at the results you brought. You eat George. Mm. 
So from the gist, the father spent $21,000 on the son's education, which I must say in whatever economy you're looking at it is a huge money. But he failed woefully and was even absent from, um, from some subjects, but past music and geography. He passed music. He barely passed geography. Okay, but he passed. He just passed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Should I take the reactions first? Sure. Okay, so at Daddy Free says, my papa beat me past like that. He didn't spend 21,000 USD on me from the time I was born up till now. Why send a kid who doesn't like studying to such a costly school? The father was wrong. The boy wants to do music. $21,000 gets him a piano. Use the rest to feature Naira Mali. Okay. Yeah. YC says, Sha, um, bottom line is my mom could comfortably let me repeat because my school fees was not 21,000 USD and that's where I cannot speak on how that man feels because even me, no go pay $21,000 for my Peking secondary education. At Ake Ula underscore trendy says 21k USD or not, music has destroyed the career of many young boys. They see the likes of Naramali Zlatan and Co as role model. Meanwhile, even these people are educated, but is it about their education? At Wealthy Youth says 21k USD wasted and is still sit down under AC. My dad gave me 1,000 naira to buy understanding mathematics and I did not give him his 300 naira change. Results came out and I failed math. My dad put me inside a drum, rolled this in the compound and asked me to be shouting, I am a thief. As De Kunle says, everyone is concerned about the 21k USD that the man paid and the boy's failure to show up on exams day while you all ignoring the fact that a woman filmed the man scolding his son, took a picture of the son's results and let everything get to social media. Women will embarrass you. At BC9196 says, violence is not the answer, but no be every question gets answer. Alubaje or give me $21,000. Yeah, that's all we can take. It is serious and trending and interesting, but who wants to go first? Mm. You guys should go first. This is more of a Nigerian. Oh, you're not a Nigerian. Hey, you you're not a Nigerian. Please, Me, I wasn't raised with beating, so I don't really have much. Okay, so um, $21,000 is not a joke. That's mm -hmm. one. Secondly, um, I don't appreciate it when... Um, children don't see the efforts that their parents are apparently putting in to make sure they have um, good education or at least have a good future. Fine, is it in line with what you want to do with your life? Maybe yes and maybe not, but sometimes it's, it's best to at least appreciate it, put in the effort, especially when you've agreed to do something. Now, the failing part, if the results came out and everything on it was just failure, 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 we would say maybe he doesn't have head for schooling. But it means for you to be absent in two um, um, subjects, it means that you were not even paying attention. You're not even interested in being part of that process. And it is more like, for me, I feel like it's a deliberate attempt. Now, the main thing is the beating and the slapping. Me, I'm not against beating a child, seriously. I'm, I'm definitely not in support of the whole military, military, really, military kind of discipline and them using koboko, pouring pepper and all that. Compared to the amounts that that man spent, what I saw in that video is, I think it's fair. Okay, so if you ask me, I don't know the full story, so I won't be able because um, there's different stories. Some are saying that um, he didn't sit for some exams and some are saying that he actually sat and failed. So um, my question is, has the father ever sat him down to find out why? Because I believe that this is not the first time mm -hmm. that he's failing. Mm -hmm. Or this is not the first time that you have realized that your son is he's not weak. doing well in school or he's mm -hmm. academically weak. Now, has the father ever sat him down to have a conversation with the son? What is actually going on? What do you want to do? What do you want out of life? Those are the questions that a good parent would ask a child. Mm -hmm. Now... Whether you spend twenty one thousand, that's your that's your responsibility, and you wow. chose yes. yes, yes, you chose to send the school to the ch the uh, to a child to a school that costly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you lose, you should know that it's a win or lose situation, anyways, because not everyone has the brain for academics. Yes. Now, a lot of people are even stuck in professions that they're not happy in. Mm -hmm. They're stuck doing jobs that they're they're not fulfilled in. Do you understand? So the question is, as a good parent, is it by beating the child? Would that make him get back to school the next time and become the A1 student? That's not going to change 
a thing. I get what you're it's trying not going to say. To... No, I also and then saw... also, okay. I also have a serious problem with my father did more than this. Hi, Father that God. Is a, if I that, God bless that you, I can hug you right now. That is a serious problem. It and is. I think it is a mental issue. Thank you. That a lot of us are broken. Yes. Mm. Ah. And we are living. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Today, you're I'm bringing sorry. the heat. I wow. don't agree that a lot of us are broken. The That's one. That, and look, secondly, maybe broken in another contest but not because of this secondly i saw something online that has to do with um conversations going around what this, if, if the schools are also held accountable because sometimes people tell you that if i'm coming to uh, um, put a child in your school to pay this amount of money and this child is not performing well has this school ever called the father into a conversation to say this is what we have noticed we've spoken to your son and this is or is it just a case of attend lectures if you want and do what you want and just come out of it like i said i'm not against discipline and i'm not going to say that people that are saying that they've gotten worse and, and done worse i also um okay i don't think i was the one who interviewed this person but i watched the interview where the person was talking about how she she um, she ended up studying economics in school. Mm. That wasn't what she wanted to do. But right now, she's one of the top um, mm, people God. when it comes to um, um, what was that segment now? When it comes finance. to finance and being able to advise people on what they should do with their finance. Mm. And she's absolutely happy with this. But at that her growing stage, it was a difficult thing for her to understand that her, her parents okay, at the time was chose. looking at, not even just choosing, mm. they were looking at what her abilities was um, um, oh. based on her results in secondary school. Now, that is me saying that I understand it for a parent to sit down to have a conversation with their son. But like you said, we don't know the full story. But based on the conversation on saying, oh, is that beating too much? I'm sorry, I'm not going to say it's too much. So yeah. for me, I think that violence in any regard, in any sense, is wrong. If say, if a woman, if an evil man came, and I'm using evil because it, this is very um, prevalent in their culture, and he paid a lot of money for his bride, and then the bride came and sat down in the house and was completely useless, did not cook, not clean, not do anything, probably even give him, you know, pleasure or whatever, and then he beats the wife, we'll all be here screaming that that's absolutely wrong, and the money does not matter, and blah, 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 blah. blah. There is is your, your, as a parent, it is your right to do whatever you want to do, to sacrifice whatever. It, it is in your own capacity that you decide what you want to do for mm -hmm. that child. And that's not the child's responsibility. It's only in this country I see people choking their children with the sacrifice that you've made. We appreciate it. We love you. And a decent child should be able to do that. But it's not a responsibility. And we're not bound to your will because you sacrifice things. That is the job of a parent. Any violence is wrong. You are teaching the child that violence is a means when necessary of, communication. of communicating. You are treating, you are first of all, you are, you are teaching them two things. That it's okay for me to be, to be, to be treated ill when, when, when violence is involved. And it's okay for me to act like that because I have righteous anger. First of all, me, I'm going to now put, this, uh, uh, put myself in this situation. Growing up, believe it or not, until university, I was a very poor student. And I had this talk, and it triggers me so much. You're lazy. You're not putting effort. You're not doing this. But the truth of the matter is that the system, of educational system, is limited. If you're a parent listening, understand, I'm grown and I'm successful in every right. But it was hard for me to thrive in the education system until I got to uni. And I've realized that I cannot learn something that I'm not, I don't have a passion about. That's a limitation and, and a blessing in, in disguise. Because when I was able to choose the subject that I wanted to do in uni, I was an honorary role. You can go and check me out. In uni, this was a girl that was getting F9. My Wayek, I got F9. I had to go do uni, um, Wayek again in Ghana. The stories are much. I can give everything to you. And my parents would give me all the reasons why they've tried and they've suffered. And I couldn't, but I tried. I read. I did everything. So you don't know. The, the, the violence, slapping a child I hear is, you, is ridiculous. And I get you. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, though, mm -hmm. I'm never going to train a child with violence. I'm not going to take it from any man to train a child with violence. If you haven't done all the other methods, which mm. there are so many of them, other methods the of boy parenting. Was, you know, the boy was even trying, trying to talk. He was, was trying he going to, to say, explain. You know, it's very you easy, like, it's it's very easy to say this result. thing when you're not the one toiling every day it is, to bring out that Elsie, money. It is even so easy to slap a child because it's the fastest thing that you can do. It is easier to just do this rather than saying, oh, let me go and think about, or let me go and find other methods in which I can get to the bottom of this. I understand you saying that it is a parent responsibility they brought you. I mean, but we also, as children, mm. owe them 
a level of decency and respect and understanding what that effort. I mean, it's just like you saying you are going to throw away the fact that you have privileges I understand because you're oh, you I feel going, like so. Well, then I don't know. Are you going kind to do of what? My brain. I, I hold on. <laughs> I understand and I agree that there are different methods. Who says that this man who understands the importance of education to spend this huge amount on his son will not still find a way to say, you know what? Let's sit down and let's have a conversation. Like we said, what we are seeing is just this video. And we don't even know what is going My on in the this family video. It's about right flogging. now. But it's the bigger picture. Well, of course, the bigger picture and flogging, of course, there are different ways of communication and all that. But with this video we have seen and the conversation ongoing on this video, I'm sorry, I'm not going to agree that that thing, man has done to, anything extremely wrong. Of course, because the argument the here is, no. your, is your method of, t of, of training. People are, the argument about this video isn't the nitty gritty is what he did and what he didn't do. Should the father be slapping a child? Should he be slapping a child who is failing in school? That's the problem. And I think in any context, any God forsaken context you want to bring to me, there is other ways you can train a child rather than hitting. Because once you start to justify a reason for to be violent, You've lost me. I cannot condole this. I cannot justify. I cannot understand it as far as I'm concerned. And then I also feel like when it comes to raising a child, there are all the signs you look for in what direction the child wants. Now, obviously, he knows that this child loves music, right? And this child, I, I don't know if it was Daddy Freeze who, who said it. That it would the buy. idea of him loving music is based on the result and of even social media listen, people listen, saying listen, that he would listen, love Because this music, doesn't mean that yeah. he's going to be a great musician. Yeah, First it doesn't of all, mean there's that. different ways. For, I, I think that there's something actually that he has, he has a hard time learning. For me, my issue was that any answers that were rigid, like if you say 2 plus 2, 4, I, d I couldn't thrive. I needed to be able to express why I thought 2 plus 2 was for which was I did well in literature and whatever, whatever. I think that this boy has a learning problem that doesn't encourage, that's not encouraged by the education mm. system. Now, if you think about it, music and geography, in the testing system systems, they don't actually need words. Mm. They need you to draw the, sim the, the symbols. They need you to draw maps. And they're so, more practical. Yes, they are. Exactly. They are more practical. So I think that there's some, that's why, and not, not that he loves music or he loves geography. There's something about that system of subjects that he thrives in. Mm. So imagine if you put that child in in a system that works like that. Now, Peter Doce was also trending on, oh, on Twitter earlier today. He's even worse. <laughs> what because, did you say? Um, you posted. Oh, okay. Yeah, you posted that he didn't. Um, that once he told his father About that he wanted them, he wanted to, him to open an electrical shop for mm -hmm. him, and he said, "Okay." He called him into his room mm -hmm. and beat him up. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? He said that reset is going back to factory setting okay and now look at him a child said i don't want to go to school anymore <laughs> mm -hmm. electrical shop maybe you ledoche would have been the greatest electric electrician we mm -hmm. ever had he Amazing. could have invented something he could have done so something you're saying that is passion hold on you ledoche is coming to tell you look at me now because he feels like look his at life you is now. I'm, now what I'm, I'm, not I'm, not I'm still not you don't need impressed. to be impressed if he's impressed with his life i'm sorry if you don't need to be impressed so with what, his so own what life you me but i can you tell now? you that he is if, if he, I he's a to success be you because you sit on this table every day. Let's even yeah, you agree. Yeah, they beat me. So I'm why are you successful. saying we should not no, look at okay, him? Okay, but let me tell you, there's other people who are successful and they do not beat them. So what's the point? It's not as if he's giving you some so extra. So would you agree that there is there, there are children or young adults that you would need to actually guide for them to take the I right decisions think, in not, their lives. And you would beat them in order wait, to do wait, that. That's wait, not the question. Wait. Do no, you agree? Of course you agree. That. You must have that, parenting. Yes, wait, now. I believe that scolding is allowed because even according according to the Bible... Scolding is how? What is scolding? Spear the rod what and spoil the child. Spear the rod and spoil the child. Right? It doesn't have no, to be slapping. No, but that's wait, what I'm asking. Now, what is scolding and what is sparing the rod? Because the which right is why part. I'm still no, looking at the conversation, look, the context problem, of this okay, conversation. Is at and I can't take it from the general yeah. angle, except we did not play everybody this video. Everybody is looking at it from the beating and whether... I'm looking at it from the failure point of view. Now, it's okay to scold a child. Maybe you notice that a child all the time just intentionally likes to break your stuff. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Like, he just picks the phone smashes mm -hmm. it on the floor goes to the tv breaks it up now it's okay for you to scold such a child and be like yo what's wrong with you <laughs> but not me, something that let, concerns let your life example. not something that the child that, also knows that is for my own good okay. that when the child like is I younger said. when they want to scold the child physically now mm. it's very different it's mm. very intentional if it's not to explain um, late Lucy, what you did was wrong. Give me your finger. Bye, bye. Now that for me, I can even tolerate because it's not done out of anger. 
But then you are angry and you are wounding the child. You can see the energy, the anger that's coming out is wrong. Intentionally. Look at the look at. Do you think every child wants to feel intentionally? You also said that all that our community. Some would. Yes. Maybe then maybe they're just trying to punish the parents. Why would you want to punish? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't. I don't want. Which is why I agree that there need to be other ways to to have conversations and understand this thing. I'm sorry, but based on this video, this man has not done anything wrong. I disagree. That's why I can't fathom that there's any child that would want to fail intentionally. Wow. So I don't want to believe that Look this child is intentional. Look at the black community, guys. We have the highest rates of violence. Domestic, uh, manga, gang. It tells you something. We are not... So it's just the black communities that the hate their children. The highest rate. And look at all the other communities Thank that follow. There's that. also anyway, violence Anyway, we need to there. go. Unfortunately, we never have much time for such conversations. But thank you for watching. And please join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Also send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 Thank you. As always, we go to my co-anchors, Ife Olu Oshukeye and Ife Omai and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. See you later.